What's up everyone? So today we're gonna do a how to clean my laser. Yep, how to clean my laser. This thing's getting dirty, business season's coming up. So I wanted to walk through, show you some tricks, show you, show you things that I do, and yearly things, monthly things, and so forth. Let's start with yearly. Yearly, I like to clean, do a thorough clean. So I'll come in, I'm gonna go get a vacuum, and we're gonna show you what I'm gonna show you what I all do in here every year, once a year, sometimes twice a year. And then we're gonna go farther into detail with the lens and everything else we have to do. Plus, let me know if you wanna see a video in the comment down below. I got another fan, so I'm gonna install that one up there and take that one down. And I'm gonna do a thorough clean on that one. And then I'm gonna have it so all I literally have to do is switch. I'm gonna make some brackets and stuff and just switch it. So I don't have to worry about cleaning them. If it's in a big rush and all of a sudden I'm starting to see the fans not working as well, I can just switch it, clean on a day that I have time. So, all right, let's get to it. I like to start down here and take out all the big pieces. Now the reason, the reason why I like to clean all this is because all this loose dust can start a fire if you get a spark down here. So you don't want it to add up. So I literally, I literally just take my vacuum and start vacuum cleaning. So now we have to move the bed lower so we can clean the whole back. So now if you have compressed air, use compressed air. I do, but I'm not gonna go get my tank, run the hose through here, hook it up and do everything else. I like to use these. They're cheap, they're fast. I can use them on the keyboard, I can use them for other things. But what I like to do is I turn on my exhaust fan and see all that crud in there? See all that crud in there? Pretty easy, you can hear it running through the hoses, running right out and blowing out. So now that I have that done, what I like to do is clean all of these right here. All this I like to clean because for one it looks nice, but also these will start to get hard to turn once they build up with that crud. Now we gotta clean the mirrors. This mirror here, I do at least minimum of once a week. If I do a lot of cutting, I do it probably every other day, if not every morning. Well, it depends on what you're cutting. But like glass, that leaves a lot of dust too. But lately it's been every day because this exhaust fan needs to be switched and cleaned. 
So, I cleaned this one this morning. I will go through and do it again. But the main one I wanted to show you was over here. And I want to make sure everyone knows when you're taking this apart, whether yours has a, has, whether you have this laser or not, you still have screens. So you're going to have your mirrors every so often, but there's going to be like a, a screen, um, like a glass piece. And I'm going to show you that in here. And I was having a problem once and it was not cutting right. I cleaned all the mirrors, but I found out it was that piece. So let me take this part and I'll show you. You have a mirror here, a mirror here, a mirror there, and a mirror there. Now this one's my fiber. So I know this is fiber. This is my CO2, and that's going to be CO2. Now, if you look, it's hard to see, right through in there, there's a little screen, glass screen. Now, only how you can get to it is if you loosen this up. Take that mirror out. And see how you can see it down in there? You can easily get it from this side, right there, to clean that side. But I could never get to that side. Now, all I use to clean mine is Q-tips and rubbing alcohol. Don't use any other fancy cleaner or anything. That's it. Pretty simple and easy. That's pretty dirty. You can't use that side because you had your hands on it and there is oil from your hands on there. These are cheap. Just get a new one. You want to hit every mirror. Like that one has just a little bit right there. Just a little smudge. And get this one from this side. Now this one pretty easy just like that fiber and look how dirty that thing is see that when you're also cleaning I don't know if you can notice that but let's do it right here so I put it down on the mirror and I'm turning the Q-tip really slowly like that so you're not getting dirt in there and rubbing new dirt on there if you weren't spinning it you could have potential of scratching your lens you don't want that because that costs you money plus you have to ship it you can't run tomorrow so just turn the Q-tip a little bit as you're going back and then lift up go back again this one's really easy that's why you can do it daily, it's fast. Those, you have to take that whole side off. This just pulls off. And you have your main lens. See, it's got a little speck on it. But I did a ton of cutting today. Remember rolling. I'm going to come through and use the other side. And don't forget you have one in here. I have to clean the other one now <laughs> but that's all right that one's fast too so but it's really easy and if you stay on top of the maintenance it saves you a lot of money in the long run so it's it's way worth it i hope that helps you guys kind of gives you an idea of what to use what to do if you have any questions put in the comments down below uh and i'll help you out it's really it's pretty simple and they're all basically the same you know, just different names and different looks. So basically, just gotta make sure all your lenses are clean. And let me know if you wanna see the video of me installing that fan. I can do that. I can record that and put that on there. So hope this helps and glad you guys see me again. <laughs> Bye.